Here we go. Healing school. I want to answer a question for you today. How does God heal people? Before we start, I want to pray over you that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give unto you and me the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge. The spirit of wisdom. Huh? I want to talk to you today about how does God heal people? How does healing actually happen? What happens when a person is prayed for or spoken over who is sick? <clears throat> what actually happens to them? What happens to them? Well, I can give you some examples of what happened. We had a, uh, a lady, her family called and said, mom has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and can you come? We said, yeah. I said, sure. I said, I'll be right there. So Mary and I got in the car and went down to her house. We knew right where she lived. And we went in, the house was full of people. She's in the back. They, they take us to the back. We go into her room. Well, she's not only been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, she's dying. I mean, dying. They brought us there to minister to her as she was dying. How many of you know I'm the wrong person to bring there to minister to you if you're dying? Amen. So, she's all yellow and gray and her eyes are yellow and <clears throat> I could tell from looking at her that her liver was shutting down. When you see somebody, when their eyes are yellow, that, that means their liver is shutting down. So I walked over to her, to the bed, and I looked down at her, <clears throat> and I said, what do you want? What do you want? And she looked up at me. Now, I knew her. I had a relationship with this lady. We, we knew her. She had been in our church for years, several years. Her daughter had been with us for a long time. So she, she knew me very well. So I, I stood over, and, and she had seen people healed in our church. <clears throat> so I stood over, and I said, what do you want? And she says, I'm in so much pain. She said, I just want to be comfortable. Well, I'm probably the wrong person to call if that's all you want. Well, okay. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of death to leave you. I command the spirit of infirmity to come out of you. I put my hand on her. I said, be healed in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Took my hand off her. Said goodbye. We left. <clears throat> I don't hang around. There's no reason to hang around. So we left. A couple months later, we were traveling at the time. And I get a phone call from her daughter. And she says, this is, told me her name. I said, oh, well, how you doing? She said, we're doing really good. She said, I just wanted to tell you mom was healed. Well, mom didn't have any faith for healing folks. <clears throat> and this was like four years ago. And I really didn't have I didn't know as much then as I know now. Now, I would have been surprised if she wasn't. But I, I didn't, she didn't have any faith for healing. But she said to me, she says, after you left, <clears throat> mom started feeling better. And she wanted something to eat and she wanted to drink and she started sitting up in bed and, and the next day she was getting up out of bed and, 
and walking around and the day after that she got dressed and and she was getting stronger and he, she says we took her back to the doctor two weeks later and there was no trace of cancer. Well, then we come back from our sabbatical and she started coming back to church and she was part of our church through the rest of her life. <clears throat> I'm telling you people, the way God heals people is progressive. Once in a while, you will get an instant miracle. That happens. <clears throat> but most of the time, God's healing is progressive. I tell people this. Once we speak over you and pray over you, the healing power of God goes into you and, and the evil thing that is inside you comes out and your body heals. It heals over a period of time. Now, we had a lady last year came to one of our events and she was blind, stone cold blind. And we had did, we did an event over in Orlando and they brought this lady in there and she could not see. She was totally blind. And uh, when it came time, I taught a little bit on healing and came time for, for the sick to be ministered to. And I said, who... Who needs healing? Well, they got up. Her pastor had brought her. Her pastor and his wife, and they got up, and they brought her up. And I said, sit down. We always move people out of the front row, and I generally sit the sick people in the front row. They don't need to stand up. I don't need people to fall over when they get prayed for. Amen. We just let them sit there. <clears throat> And I stood in front of her and I said to the, to the audience, the crowd, I said, are you ready to see a miracle? Do you want to see a miracle today? Everybody, oh. And then they started to get interested. And I looked down at her and I didn't touch her. I looked down at her and I said, in the name of Jesus, you blind spirit come out of her. I stepped back. About 30 seconds later, I said to her, take your glasses off. She took her glasses off. I put my hand over her eyes. I said, in the name of Jesus, you blind eyes open. I stepped back. Nothing happened. But about 30 seconds later, she started to scream. I said, what's going on? She said, I can see a bright light. I said, couldn't you see light before? I didn't know her whole situation. I said, couldn't you see light before? And she said, no. And I said, and I thought, oh, I didn't say anything. I thought to myself, uh-oh. And then she says to me, she says, I see somebody back there but he's all fuzzy. I thought, uh oh, what's behind me? I looked back, it was one of the musicians. I thought, whew. And then she says, now he's clear. Then she looked up at me and she says, I can see you. I said, how many fingers am I holding up? She said, two. I took, went like this out to the side. I said, how many fingers? She said, one. And she said, I can see perfectly. And she stood up and started jumping up and down and running all over the place. It took about two minutes. But her healing was progressive. Everything grows. When you plant a seed, it grows. God's blessing grows. God's healing grows. The minute you speak over a sick person, their body begins to heal. It is usually progressive. Even some of the people that Jesus spoke over were healed progressively. The lepers. 
were healed as they went to see the priest. Amen. Which means they were not healed instantly right in front of Jesus. And one person, that, that well, a blind person that he spoke over, said, I see men as trees. In other words, he was seeing people fuzzy. Jesus spoke over him again. He was totally healed. Huh? It was progressive. I got news for you. Had Jesus not spoken over him the second time, he was healed anyway. Amen. He was healed anyway. Because once the Lord spoke over him, that was the end of it. It just takes a little time sometimes. I tell people this. You know, once we speak over you and pray over you when you're sick, your body will heal every single time. I'm not sure how long it'll take. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how long it's going to take. Uh, it's always progressive. But sometimes that progression can be very quickly. I spoke over a man who was totally paralyzed on his left side from a stroke. When I spoke over that man, he was dying. Nothing happened. And I left. But he started to get his appetite back. He started wanting to drink water. He started to get stronger. The feeling started to come back. I spoke over a lady from our church who had a massive stroke. This was a month ago. She was totally paralyzed on her left side. And when I spoke over her, nothing happened. But we went back the next day and she was able to move her hand a little bit and wiggle her toes. But I, said, I said to her, I said, we got this. I said, you're going to get better. Went back the next day and she's moving her hand all over the place and raising her leg up and down off the bed. Went back the following day, she's up walking around. It was progressive. But it was very quickly. Amen. When it's very quickly like that, that's a miracle. Sometimes we pray over people and it takes them a month to heal. That's a natural healing. Sometimes people with, with terminal cancer, we speak over them and it takes a week they get off their beds. But a week later, they're up walking around. Sometimes they're up walking around the same day. We had a guy dying of cancer they brought to the house. I spoke over him. Nothing happened. We went about our business. Hour later, he's up walking around. A week later, the guy's totally healed. Went back to the doctor. The doctor said, well, that tumor is still there, but it's dead. I said, leave it alone. It'll go away. Glory to God. Healing the way God heals people is progressive. If you know anybody who needs to be healed, please, please send them to us. We don't want any money from sick people. No offerings. We just want to get you healed. Amen. Amen. I tell people you cannot buy healing. You can't buy it. But it's free. God will heal you. We connect in faith. And I'm telling you, God will heal you every time. huh? Tell everybody you know who is sick. Go to my website, increasenow.com. We're posting these these videos are there. There's a page of these videos. Healing School, Blessing School, Prayer School. It's in there every day. And I'm telling you what, it's all free. It's sponsored by the partners of this ministry. All of our partners have access to me. If you become a partner with this ministry, you can talk to me anytime you want and pray with me anytime you want. Glory to God. Hey, make it a great day, a good day, a happy day. And remember this. God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. Tell everybody you know to go to increasenow.com. We will get them healed.